Hello guys, it's Kostas from Toolol. In this video, I want to try something else, okay? I want to talk in the camera and say something. I just watched this video from Pestili, really nice guy. Uh, the biggest, I would say, one of the biggest uh, escape from Tarkov uh, content creators. And I've seen this video right now uh, about the cheating pandemic. And I, and I want to make this video to talk about something uh, that he said. You know this is kind of live so i'm sorry i will put me full screen and i will start talking i agree with some of the things he said in this video but uh, to be entirely honest uh, i want i wanted to make this video to say some points i want to make some points about what he said and my you know version of this so um he also said himself, actually, in the comment section, he said, I do these videos in one take, no script, majority of the time, I use the words, you can't hate them for doing it. So this video was about cheaters and the cheating pandemic, he called this video. And I wanted to say something about this. So, cheaters. There should be a cheater, he said, in Philippines or in some poor country and we must not criticize them and uh, stuff like that. Okay, I won't talk about Call of Duty because he uh, mentioned Call of Duty and stuff like that. And okay, Call of Duty always had cheaters and I mean, it's an arcade uh, shooter, in my opinion. It's not like a realistic uh, the simulator of uh, shooting, okay? So one thing I want to mention is the problem with Escape from Tarkov. So this video will be talking about cheaters in Escape from Tarkov. I won't be showing, I won't be making this video too glamorous or stuff. I just want to say something, okay? So Escape from Tarkov and cheating, it's, it's a problem. You know why? because you can actually die from a guy with cheating and you won't be able to even understand it so i played this game for a thousand hours okay a thousand hours i spent in this game so far and that's not uh, maybe more people have spent more time uh, than me but I, I think a thousand hours is a pretty long time dude okay so what i want to say is even now i cannot differentiate a good player from a cheater okay so the problem with Tarkov is just this you don't have a kill cam so how am I supposed to understand if someone is cheating or not even if I play for let's say one week and I die from some person one tapping me and I can't even see him okay how am I supposed to understand this so I will say, Pestili, you are wrong, okay? Battlestead games should have a kill cam. How am I supposed to play a game if, let's say, in my server has cheaters? Okay, so what I do is I'm wasting my time preparing myself to go into the game and I die from cheaters, let's say. I, I, I can't be doing this for months and I won't be able to differentiate you will say, you know something, if you can't see the person and he one taps you, then yes, he's a cheater, you should suppose to understand this and you should suppose to report him or change server or stuff like that. Maybe not only the guys that work 40 hours per week, I also work 40 hours per week, Pestili, okay? And I'm making some videos from for YouTube as well. How am I supposed to understand that a guy that shot, shot me, he's a cheater? I can't even understand that. Maybe he was in the other side of things and he shot me with an AKM in head eyes. How am I supposed to understand? Maybe he shot me with a fucking AP-20 shotgun from uh, miles away. How am I supposed to understand? Okay, I'm just being real here. I don't agree with you. Most of the things you said are nice, okay, but in this video you are wrong okay because um not only the people who actually play this game um for fun or maybe they want to play competitively it, 
each and every one of us plays for a different reason okay and that doesn't have to do anything with cheating if there's cheating battle state games should have a kill cam if you die if you are in a party then don't show the kill cam show the kill cams after all the people in the group die it's so easy okay it's so easy they must do this okay a game like this cannot be released if you don't have a kill cam in the end of all the gameplay okay maybe if uh, i die from someone and i'm with three friends maybe i can help uh, help them with a kill cam and and say you know he's right there and uh, he's up in the in big red in the you know the director's office okay but i said a way to negate this problem show the kill cams if you are in a party show the kill cams after the raid even after the raid okay even after you can get a message from let's say prapor or skier or fence or whatever and say spies have looked at the person who killed you and you have some extra information and you can uh, see the video from him killing you after the whole raid ends let's say they can do something like this and then it automatically and uh, destroys like all the nice things you insured with proper and you didn't get them okay so it's not that hard and it's something that Tarkov needs to negate cheating and to, uh, for at least me to understand I did something wrong here I didn't what the other person did and to learn from their experience because yes I understand this game is a br brutal game but if we put the cheaters in the equation as well I think every single one of us every single one of us needs to have a kill cam when they die because if I play this game from for months and I die from cheaters I want to know that so I won't play this game again Pestili, this is your channel, okay? This is your work. You can say things like that. I play this game uh, for fun and that's cool. But for me, if I see that this game has only cheaters, I don't want to play it anymore. I don't want to waste my hours to play Escape from Tarkov if every single one of the raids there is a cheater inside. It's so simple, dude. I mean, yeah no offense okay there's no offense here i'm just saying that if there's cheater in the game i won't be playing it or at least i will know who to report so simple i can report him for aim hacking how can i report someone for aim hacking if i can't see their gameplay This was the video I wanted to make guys. My name is Kostas from Tulol. I'm just a small channel, nothing uh, super here, okay? This is just my opinion. Let me know in the comment section if you agree with me. I just believe that for Escape from Tarkov, we need something to be able, as a community, to report the cheaters. Nikita said that if you think someone is uh, cheating, then report him. Uh, I can't make that decision. I, I just can't make the decision. Is this a, a cheater or not? I just died one tap from somewhere. How am I supposed to understand it? Not everyone records the gameplay and watches the replay in order to make a decision to see if, uh, if, if they are hacking or not. Uh, Nobody does that. Even me that I'm just uh, sometimes recording stuff for, uh, to make a video about, let's say, I, I still don't do that. I won't be wasting my time to see my gameplay again, to understand. We have uh, hours, some set hours to play. We don't have all day long to make decisions for Battle State games. And Nikita, they should be uh, making something uh, to help us report to those people and yes i don't care if they're from other countries i just don't care from poor countries that's not a it's not ideal okay if you don't want to play just play something else 
just uh, do something else. Play Battlefield. I don't know. Get a chopper in a Battlefield and uh, have fun. Why destroy competitive games? I, I don't understand. I, I just don't understand, dude. I don't care about the past. Sorry. You don't have a you have a decision from the start of the uh, when you play, okay? Just don't play. Uh, don't cheat. So simple. Why in this era in 2021 we must be everyone we are judging and stuff like that and they can't take take a judge. Okay, I'm judging. All right. I don't care. Some people will be, uh, disagree with me, some will agree. I just agree with the people who are spending their time to play something and have some fun and some nice... Uh, you know, this game is brutal. So if you die, um, it's frustrating. But when you come out alive, it's so satisfying. That's the, It's in Dark Souls' essence. Okay. So if there's a cheater in the way, yes, it destroys it. It just destroys it and I can understand if he is a cheater or not and I cannot make the decision myself. I need help. I need help. I need a kill cam. How am I supposed to understand it? And how is supposed a battle state games how is supposed to negate some majority of the cheaters if they can't have a kill cam and they are not let's say recording all the gameplay and stuff like that even in CSGO you have the option to see some gameplay and uh, judge if it's a cheater or not I don't I'm not saying they should try something like this but I, I just think that FPS games are a target for cheater, cheaters and we should be able to actually make the decision is he cheating or not so simple my name is Costa from Tulol thank you for watching sorry if it take too long to make my points uh, English is not my first language sorry about that and see you in the next video thank you guys